varsity club welcome back to another class hey look we've got a great episode coming up today the playoffs are getting crazy we thought we'd be up 2-0 instead it's tied 1-1 game three is going to be an incredibly important one though because getting a 2-1 series lead is huge because we want to then extend it to a 3-1 series lead because unlike the warriors we aren't blowing that before we jump into the playoff game i want to give you guys a look at what the overall sort of scouting picture looks like we haven't really talked about this draft class much but there's some gems in there if you're on the xbox series x or s you can basically go look for ggb fictional 2023 and this draft class is now available for you to go ahead and download there's some great players in here like amani porter evan wade sam brand a lot of these guys are sort of looked at as your top prospects malvin hickman and so forth but let's look at the mock draft board for what it looks like so far this season as it looks right now the nuggets ironman pacers and thunder are going to be looking at your top four picks from where we are it's pretty much a little bit later on down the draft board as you can tell we're at 16 i believe the second draft pick that should be sitting here at the end of the first round at 29 so we have two first round draft picks one of them again in the middle of the teens you don't know what we're going to get but i can tell you one thing about this draft class do your research because there are guys that are maybe in the first round that aren't great guys in the first round that are incredible and there are some players in the second round you want to pay attention to as well that are going to contribute to your team we're traveling to Oklahoma City today, and look, we got the things we got to work on offensively, defensively, everywhere our team was not looking great in game two. So we're hoping we can pick things up here. Vaughn has got to get things going as well. We'll step back from him. That's what you want to see. We've got a nice early lead going on right now, 16 to seven. Again, we need to come out with high momentum. It's one thing I told my team today is that for this game, I need you to play incredibly well from the get-go. Now, leaving a guy wide open on a three, it's not how you continue that. RJ getting the offense going up. Rocking sort of the aqua teal combo for the jerseys. Vaughn rolling around. Vaughn getting a high screen. He's going up against the big fella. I like it. Draw his foul. It's his second one of the game. And Vaughn going to the free throw line where he's 50 sometimes, but I believe he's going to make both here. First one looking good. He's already got nine points. He's one point away from tying what Oklahoma has done here in the first quarter, and he's done just that. Big thing for us is stopping outside shooting. I don't think they're really going to beat us inside, but the outside shooting is where they have killed us the past couple of games and throughout this season. Nice rebound there. RJ switching things up. Looking for a screen. Gets one from Bobo. Bo. Bobo a little late to roll, but he goes up. And Bobo Bo doesn't make the play. Oh, look at this. Jaron Jackson Jr. with a nice little rip there. Von Diggins rolling up. I like the spin move. I like the effort. Jackson Jr. gets the rebound, goes up. He gets the foul. Look, this is what I want to see. Our team showing great effort, trying to make big plays and getting to the free throw line. The more fouls they get, especially early on in this game, the more their lineups can be messed around and not essentially sitting ideally with what they want. A lot of subs coming in as well as the greatest basketball player of all time. White pal. Will be topping. Got something. Catches Kane showing in the corner. I like the in and out game. That worked perfectly. 10 point lead here in the second quarter. Things just getting started again. Our team is playing for the most part really well right now. Is he trying to drive in? Jaron Jackson, great defensive effort. He's got seven to four so far with an assist on the board as well. RJ gets the ball in the hands of Vaughn Diggins. Vaughn's been stupendous today and he continues that. Hasn't hit a bucket in a while, but he gets three big ones there. The biggest thing for us right now is where our outside shooting is hitting. We've got five more three pointers in them and that's the big reason why we're in the game today. Great defense by Cam Reddish. Need all of our guys to step up today. RJ getting it going. Swing it over here. That's a bad pass. Vaughn was going to end up getting this one back. Doing what he can here. I like the speed boost out. I don't like the layup there. About halfway through the second quarter. Things are looking interesting. We have a big free throw advantage though. That and our three point shooting has really been what's led to us dominating today. As well as Vaughn Diggins who has 17 and Baisley now has his fourth foul of the game. That's a big problem for OKC. Vaughn trying to get the three point play the old school way. 17, one and two for him. Again, I want Vaughn in the postseason to be a dominant scorer and that's what he's doing right now. All this back up top, getting the screen from Drummond. Bo Bo, not doing super well on defense so far, but he's got a couple of rebounds to his name. RJ with a good stutter step screen. Bring it back to RJ here. Look at for the screen up high. We get it. Vaughn in, cuts it over to Jaron Jackson. Ooh, okay, okay. They're actually playing really good defense right now. Got to throw it up. That's a floater. We didn't get anything there. Oh, Bobo. Bobo. About time. The lead is huge right now. 20 points on OKC's home court. I know they're not happy about this, but okay. Drummond, he's a rebounding machine. The strategy we brought in tonight, though, is that they're going to kill us. They got to kill us inside. We're not going to lose the game if we're just having 
a deficit inside, but we will lose the game if our three-point shooting is not great. Look out below. Playoff Vaughn has been activated. This is what I wanted to see. I mean, the dude's got 24. I don't care if he doesn't get any assists right now. The man is taking over the game. He's literally taking over right now, which is what we wanted to see. A dude coming out here showing that he's the best player on the court. He's going to dominate time and time again, get his teammates involved when he has to, but for the most part, when they need a bucket, you know he's going to give it for us. Speaking of Vaughn coming off the baseline, steps behind in the corner. He's on fire. He's on fire. Clock money down here in the first half. We have a massive, massive lead. I wanted our team to come out with a spark. And this is kind of what I was hoping, but I had no idea it would be this close. Trey is going to end up missing that one, but 79 to 53 in the second half. If we blow this lead, we're trash. The whole squad. Here in the third quarter, we're about halfway through, and uh, it's not getting any better right now for OKC. Offensively, they have been completely inept. Defensively, we have been a whole lot better. It's absolutely insane to see how much we're dominating them, but I'm not surprised. Vaughn trying to get things going right now. His team is struggling a little bit here and there. Vaughn knows he can get at the bucket anytime he wants, though. 29 and more for him coming soon. Yogas Alexander's had a great game, but he's been giving up a lot of points because Vaughn is just giving him the business the whole game. Cam Rance has had a solid one, 15 and three for him. Ooh, Vaughn goes down to the post, but they quickly steal that one. Renzo Wallace out on the edge. He's going to go to the hole. We got a couple of dudes there, but that was the weirdest floater of all time, and it dropped. On oh, trying to pick things up here. Nice little double screen. I like what we got here, Jaron Jackson. I actually want him to do a nice little fade. And, well, before he can ever go out there, Vaughn picks up a charge. Picking up here in the fourth quarter, Vaughn. Again, a credible game for him. Five assists on top of the 31 he scored tonight. You gotta love seeing that. Jaron Jackson Jr. playing some bully ball right now. I mean, I wanted the end one, but 22 and eight from him. Getting to the free throw line. Look, we got him established early and that's a big part of his game. We're trying to get him involved more in the jump shot. You know, a couple of threes here and there, but having him going early is huge. He's got 24 already. Cam okay, Reddish bringing it up against Lorenzo Wallace. Nice little bully ball from him. Bo Bo down low, though. We'll take the eight and six from him. Eight and six from Bo Bo and a great defensive presence. I'll take that every night. RJ getting it going, trying to do something on the break. Looks for a nice pass. Jaron Jackson Jr. Okay, well, no one saw that. Cassius Keynes had a great moment off the bench. 11 for him. That clutch three early in the first half. He's trying to keep things going. Getting it to Vaughn. Oh, we got a big mismatch here. Yes, he's low on energy, but again, he's got to have a 30 piece tonight. Alexander in the corner. We've got a lot of bad matches up right now. Can't keep up with his speed. That defense is incredible. Great block by Jaron Jackson Jr. Love to see what he's doing right now in the postseason. And you know what Vaughn's about to do. Put him on a poster. So we're going to walk out here with a 153 to 122 dub. If you wanted your team to respond back in a positive way after that, perfor that performance in game two, this is definitely it. Recapping the box score, a lot of love from what we did for the Thunder. They had 32 with Shy, 24 from uh, Lorenzo Wallace. But then their inside game took a lot of time off the clock for them. And while they had a lot of points, he scored a whole lot more. And that was really led by three guys here. Von Diggers with 36, 4, and 7. Jaron Jackson Jr. with 31, 9, 2, 1, 2, and 2. Uh, Ubi Toppin at 23, 5, and 2. He has been fantastic for us, even off the bench today. He's been great. And then Danilo Gallinari with 17. A guy you didn't expect to get 17 from. So whenever he's shooting like he did today, I'm here for it. Cam at 15. Cassius Kane at 15. Bo Bo at 8 and 6. RJ Hampton had the devil's number. But other than that, this was a great performance by the Kodiaks. We're picking up a pivotal game. Game number four against OKC, who is not happy with how they played last game. And we're definitely happy with how we played. Thank you. Oh, Jared Jackson Jr. If we can do... This game, what we did last game, it's going to be a W. Now, we're trying to start it the same way. Unfortunately, it does not, as we're going to see a miss by Vaughn. RJ playing great defense on Wallace. Wallace takes a hugely contested shot, but Andre Drummond is a problem out there. All right, back up here on the perimeter. RJ running around a little wild. We'll let RJ shoot a contested three. We got a couple of guys down in the post. 
that was gonna go up it's gonna be a miss though by jackson jr so early here in the first nice little lead of three points nothing too crazy i kind of like the mismatch here Aaron Jackson Jr. should be able to take advantage of that game all night long. Seven big points for him already of our nine. They're going down low to Andre Drummond, though. They know this is their one place they can have a good matchup. We're going to see what Bobo can do against him defensively. But again, the more they go to Drummond, the longer it's going to take their offense to really set up and limit their chances. RJ, great moves here. Bruh. Got Jaron Jackson, but there was a huge miscommunication there. Okay, C still feel like they're pretty solid in this game right now. One of our favorite plays to run. Nice little bait, nice little drop down. Jaron Jackson Jr. is on fire right now. Okay, see, just like last game, struggling on offense right now. At their home court, they have not shot incredibly well, especially early in the ball game, and that's not boded super well for them. And well, our defense right now is looking pretty bad with our subs in the game. When they have Drummond in the game, it's honestly a problem. Bobo's done, I think, a pretty good job against him, all things considered, but it's still not a great effort. And Trey back up top. White Powell cutting back door. Markel Foles read it the entire way. We had no chance. Eight point game. Subs have been struggling right now. I don't love the offensive sets we're running, so we're going to switch things up. Gallinari looking for a screen. Gallinari's going to stop and pop. <laughs> Open up shop. Whoa. Whoa. You know the rest. Second quarter is picking up. Cam Reddish has not scored so far today, but I know a lot of our main guys haven't scored because. Well, one dude's been going off. Jaron Jackson Jr. has had a heck of a start to this game. Now, we're leaving Wallace open. You can't really do that. Jaron Jackson Jr. And with a mismatch. Kind of want to screen for him right now. Give him an open shot. Okay, we don't have that release down fully. That's, let's be honest on that one, but we'll take the attempt. Great effort on defense. That's going to turn into instant offense here as we're trying to push the tempo. Vaughn leading the charge. Don't want any more charges from him. We're going to let him pull, though, a deep three. It drops in. Another miss there by Alexander. Everything's going. That's no, no, say it's a block. Thank you. <laughs> no charges. Oh, boy, with the inbounds here to RJ. RJ still no points, but we don't need him to score. He's one of those dudes you just need to make sure that he's involved in the offense and get these guys involved on the side. And we're going to see Cam Reddish get his first bucket of the game. And we're shooting the way that we are right now. We are an absolute problem. Getting guys open. I'm telling you right now. Jaron Jackson Jr. has been great offensively, but the screens he's setting to get guys open, even better. Oh, look at this. Cam Reddish, this is why you got him. Great on-ball defender. Great defense turns to instant offense. The lead is growing massive. Almost a 20-point lead right now. RJ taking his time. Cam Reddish rolling up top. Reaching foul, though. We'll take that. Second on Wallace. Look, he's not happy right now. We're getting into his head. He's not happy. Oh, bad inbounds pass. Andre Drummond's going to end up getting that one. Now, OKC's got an opportunity to try to get a little bit of momentum. They haven't had much of any right now because, again, their outside scoring is not great. We have seven more three-pointers than they have right now. Lou Dortz, great move and a great finish. Lee's cut to 17, but again, anytime you hold a lead this big, you're going to be pretty happy. Swing it a little bit. Back out to Trey. We see Obi Toppin in the corner. He's dangerous from there. And we're on fire. 19 for Toppin off the bench in the first half. Under a minute left here in the first half. And this is this is what you want. You want a great effort. I mean, Obi Toppin, I cannot state how looked over this man has been. He's played as a starter. He's played off the bench. He's had his minutes cut in the beginning of the year. And he's just battled back to be a dominant force. The way he's playing right now. We are not the same team without Obi Toppin. That is Dwight Powell, no Dwight Powell slander. A great defensive play by the greatest player of all time, Dwight Powell. We seriously are not this good. It's not for the legend. Out there playing how he's played. Obi Toppin has been incredible this year. Cassius Kane looking to get something. Nice mid-range jumper. Pulls it and drills it. This first half is going to wind down in OKC. You are who we thought you were. Uh, that's not a great foul on Trey Jones. We're going to send Trey Burke to the line. He's probably going to hit both here, but look, this is how you want your team to respond. We had a bad game two. We had an excellent game three. We didn't rest on our laurels. We come out here in game three, and we are firing on all cylinders. Our team is looking great. We're playing great. The defensive effort has been great, and we're trying to make sure that all of our guys just do what they came to do. Dominate time and time again. Let's do it again here in the second half. Third quarter is picking up. <laughs> I feel bad for OKC right now. Like, just pack it up. Don't even play any more games in the series. You know it's over. Bobo. Okay, never mind. Bobo. I believe. 
like I said, nine and eleven for Bowl Bowl. Okay. We are just leaving Andre Drummond wide open. I mean, if someone's getting their buckets, it's Andre Drummond. And if he's a free agent in the offseason, he's going to make a whole lot of money primarily because of us. But it is what it is. Again, our strategy is let Andre Drummond cook. It's working. And the screen here in the corner for RJ. Only three and five. He's been so selfless this series. It showed. Look at this. Great fake. Great dump off. And Triple J cooks. Vaughn settled down a little bit. We don't need his firepower to be crazy. So we're trying to make sure that we don't overuse him right now. Okay. We need Vaughn deep in the postseason. We don't need him to go drop 30, 40 points every single game. Like last season when everyone was injured. 30 point game right now. How is this even possible? RJ getting the screen. Trying to work it around a little bit. Jaron Jackson Jr. Looking for the screen. Nice dump down a bowl bowl. I mean, the man barely even jumped. A double double for him. I think what this is showing though is that with everyone being healthy, the best team we have put together by far. And we are deep. We have got talent every single side of the ball. Offensively, defensively, we have been stupendous. And I, I honestly love that, right? We need the scoring. We got it. We need defense. All those guys stay healthy for the most part. We got it. If Bobo is playing great defense, this team will absolutely shine. It's just sometimes he doesn't play defense and we'll see what happens there. Triple J, good pump fake. He didn't bite, but it doesn't matter. An easy one. Von Dingers with a quiet 10 points tonight. No, he wants to go and get some more, though. Weird layup on the wrong side of the bucket. Doesn't go in. Markel Foles trying to push the tempo a little bit. They dump it down here. And a poster almost happened on Gallinari. In the fourth quarter, we're trying to get ourselves again. Nice little 3-1 lead. It's looking pretty good. Obi Toppin had a great first half. RJ trying to get him involved. I'm sorry, Lorenzo Wallace. I'm sorry. The fourth quarter is winding down. And I just, I honestly feel bad for OKC. They really thought after game two, they had a chance. We let them know real quick. You're pretenders. You stood no chance the whole time. Jackson Jr. again, a quiet 18 and eight for him. Von Diggins, 14, eight and seven. The man is close to a triple double on minimal effort. I mean, this has been one of the cleanest and most efficient games we've ever played as a team. Even defensively, we're playing well. We've held him to 85 points right now. Alexander's gotten his buckets. So has Andre Drummond. But really, outside of that, Lorenzo Wallace has been pretty quiet. A lot of their dudes aren't putting up points. No one's really killing us off the bench right now, which is to be shown. Drummond won't even jump with, I mean, with Von Dickens. I don't blame him. Look out below. So with that, we're going to walk out here with the W. 132 to 99. OKC really thought they had something. They thought wrong. Recapping the stats, OKC again. Marco Fultz had 21 off the bench. Wallace at 19. Drummond at 16 and 12. Baisley at 13. I thought Alexander actually had a good game, but he shot a lot, just didn't necessarily score a lot. Ubi Topping continues to prove that he's got to be a long term player and in our long term plans. Look at how well he played 32 points, eight rebounds, four assists, only one turnover, 11 18 from the field, 5 11 from three, and 5 for eight from the free throw line. That's a guy we got assigned to a long term deal. Vaughn had 18, 8, and 8. No turnovers of him, which is great. Jaron Jackson Jr., 18, 8, and 2, with four total blocks. Again, playing great on defense, which is what Sabonis wasn't giving us in the postseason. Triple J's doing that right now. Bobo had 17 and 12, by far his best playoff performance so far this season. Cam at 14 and 4, catches Kane at 9, 7 and 4. I mean, look at how good our guys were at filling up the stat sheet. Yes, RJ's not putting up major numbers, but 5, 9, and 9 with two steals and only two turnovers. I will take that as long as everybody else is cooking and he's getting them involved. So they definitely are.